Okay, so for this particular question, we've got to write down a 2 by 2 matrix that represents A, an enlargement scale factor 8, center 0, 0, the origin, and for part B, a reflection in the x-axis. Now, to do something like this, I always tend to forget these, but it's very quick to remember them. All I do is just draw a quick sketch, sketches some axes, and the unit base vectors. So if I've got my x-axis and my y-axis here, I put my unit base vectors, this one here, as 1, 0. And the one up here, let's have it in green, as 0, 1. And I look at what happens to these base vectors under these transformations. So for A, if I'm enlarging any shape then, center the origin, scale factor 8, what's going to happen to this vector here, 1, 0? Well, it's going to get stretched out to 8, 0. So that forms the first part of the matrix, 8, 0. And what happens to 0, 1? Well, this gets stretched upwards by a factor of 8, so it's going to be 0, 8. And that's how I would do part A. And in part B, a reflection in the x-axis. Again, starting with this base vector, what happens to 1, 0 if you reflect it in the x-axis? Well, it stays put. So we write that in as 1, 0. And then what happens to 0, 1 when you reflect it in the x-axis? Well, it goes down here. It goes to 0, minus 1. So that's that one there, 0 minus 1. All right.